Hey everybody, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing really wonderful today. We are going to be reviewing something today from Roja or Roja Parfums. This is his Elysium Parfum Cologne. Check out the beautiful container that it comes in. Before we get too deeply into the review, if you would be kind enough to subscribe and smash that thumbs up button, we'd really appreciate it. It really helps get more eyes on our content, which we really want to do. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This Elysium is interesting. I did a lot of reading. I saw a number of reviews. I picked this up because I saw a review, if I'm not mistaken, by Michelle Curly, curly fragrance, curly perfume, curly locks. I can't remember what her handle is on YouTube. She's funny as hell and she does really great reviews. So you definitely may want to check her out just as a comparison. I'm far, far less good looking than she is and a lot less funny, but she's pretty cool. So check her out when you get a chance. Curly. She talked about this a number of other YouTubers have re referenced this in their reviews. So I figured, let me check it out, right? So I did. I sprayed it on several hours ago. It opened with this amazing citrus smell. It has kind of devolved into a skin scent. Now, I only sprayed about six sprays on my arm. Now, only. I mean, for me, that's a lot. And I've discussed before, you know, when I do these reviews, I don't spray it up top. I don't spray it on my clothes for a lot of different reasons. Does that mean I don't get the full impact of the scent? Possibly. I'm trying to keep a, a standard baseline for everything that I try so I don't really get out of whack in terms of you know, how I'm reviewing these scents. The Elysium Parfum Cologne was launched in 2017. The nose behind the fragrance is Roja or Roja Dove. The top notes are grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, lime, thyme, artemisia, and galbanum. The middle notes are vetiver, juniper berries, think gin from gin and tonic black currant apple pink pepper cedar cypriol oil lily of the valley rose and jasmine the base notes are ambergris leather vanilla benzoin and labdanum I'm going to spray myself again, and then we'll read what Lucky Scent has to say about this. Oops, wrong way to spray. It's, oh, it's got a super citrus opening with the alcohol. It's just, bam, in your nose, that citrus. And that's really mostly what I'm getting right now. So let's let it dry down a little bit. We'll read a little bit more about it from Lucky Scent. Elysium Pour Homme Parfum Cologne is the original Elysium extract in a linen summer suit, an eau de cologne soaked kerchief tucked into the shirt pocket. Forming part of Roja Dove's Parfum Cologne Collection, a new category invented by him to give clients the luxuriousness of an EDP concentration between 15 and 20 percent, but with the freshness of an eau de cologne, Elysium Pour Homme Parfum Cologne is pure summer bliss in a bottle, bathing the wearer in a cloud of sparkling, sunlit citrus and vetiver that lasts all day long. The joyful opening volley of grapefruit, bergamot, and lime is followed by a scintillating vetiver that sparkles as brightly as the citrus fruits. Joined by the aromatic gin and tonic notes of juniper berry and lemon peel, this smells like the first and best sip of a cold drink on a wearyingly hot summer day. The fruitiness of the apple and black currant heart notes is toned down slightly in the cologne concentration relying on a slightly drier combination of citrusy vetiver and airy musks to keep the scent buoyant. Towards the end, a balmy but decidedly light creaminess creeps in, the happy result of benzoin and vanilla mingling with the airy cloud of musks and ambergris. Yet Elysium Pour Homme Parfum Cologne never loses its crisp 
zestiness. This Parfum Cologne Edition is emphatically its own creature while retaining all the smooth luxuriousness that made the original extract so special. If you'd like Adventus without the smoky pineapple or a more polished, rounder Blue de Chanel, then step into the glorious Elysian Fields that is the Elysian Pour Homme Parfum Cologne Experience. That's a lot. I do, the citrus is definitely more grapefruity. It's a bit more tart. We pulled a couple of reviews. I don't remember if they were from Fragrantica or from Lucky Scent, probably from Lucky Scent, but I really don't remember. From HC123, the opening is fantastic fizzy citrus bomb, but that quickly turns into a press board woody kind of smell. Dries down further with a softer vanilla floral accord. Not a bad smell, but the price of this is absurd and nowhere near justified. That was from March 18th of this year and from March 11th of this year from Leonard Washington. My best guess why this gets hate is I'm assuming people don't wash their asses so it doesn't last to them or smell good. Elysium is too damn good. This has an amazing scent. It smells like a clean, divine fragrance. I don't understand why people call it basic. I've never smelled this on anyone out in the wild, so it can't be that basic. The smell is unique, divine, clean, fruity, and stands out. People complain about it being expensive, which I do agree. I would recommend this on summer or spring nights out. On the flip side, it smells expensive, if you ask me. On the flip side, it smells expensive. If you ask me, smell it for yourself and see how this basic scent is not too basic after all. I think he's got something there. It's got a really nice citrus kind of scent. It There's a lot going on in this scent. Now the price point that he's talking about and that everybody else is talking about, the list price of this for 100 ml is about $300 more or less. You can get it discounted. I've seen it for $200, $210 on various sites. It's an interesting smell, interesting scent. Definitely I would recommend it spraying it in the evening on a summer night if you're going out. I, I don't think it's going to last that long if you spray it on yourself and expect it to last all day. I don't think it will. I'm guessing that it's going to be about a four to six hour smell and kind of, you know, falling off along that timeline. It's just because of the nature of the citrus, it sort of burns off, particularly in the warm weather. That's my, my feeling about it. But I think this would be really nice on a summer evening if you're going out, if you're going to be having cocktails on a deck somewhere, when it's, the ambient air is still warm. This would really shine, I think, at least for the first couple hours. And then it becomes a skin scent. And it is very, very pleasant. It's really a nice citrus smell. I probably wouldn't pick this up because there's just too much going on in it for me. And, you know, people complain about things being basic, but I don't understand what's wrong with basic. If it smells good, I mean, you can't always be fucking different. You just can't. <laughs> Wear a different fucking shirt. I could get really pissy about it, <laughs> but I'm not going to. You may smell unique to everybody around you, depending on what you wear. And God bless you. That's really not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to be the only person in the room wearing a particular noteworthy scent. Do I want to smell good in the room? Yes. Does that require me to be some sort of exclusive kind of scent carrier? No, it doesn't. It's a very nice citrus scent. I would recommend you try it before you buy it and shop hard. For this. Watch other reviews, see what people say about it. It is very nice. It's really nice. There's a lot going on in here. It's just not necessarily for me at this point. I like some things from Profumum Roma, far better in terms of citrus smells and summer scents. But this is worth a try. It's quite nice and you may fall in love with it. If you enjoyed the review, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you've not done so already. Don't forget to be kind to other human beings and their pets. Stay lifted, stay well-groomed, stay smelling awesome. We will catch you on the next one. And don't forget we love you. Cheers, everybody.